Claire, you coming? I'm already here. Great. Be there in a flash, promise. Right on. See you soon. Wait, hold up. Which rig are we using? Yours. Okay. Beast's ready to roar. Be right over. Later. I bet a bundle on a win. Losing's just not an option, eh? No. Hey, look, Samson. Fresh meat. Hmm. <laughs> Be embarrassing to lose to a rookie. Chill. Gunk will probably crash out on the first bend. Oh, oh, what do you think? We're at home here. Feel me. Hey, V. Good to see you. So, how's it look to you? NC badges are okay with this? NC badges can't see a problem around the stack of eddies put in front of them. Solve every problem, don't they? Eddies. Mm-hmm. Any tips before we roll? Don't take your foot off the chew. My job will be to slow everyone else down. Ultimately, it'll be speed, not firepower, that'll win us this race. Go fast. Got it. Oh. Take the shard. We need to hit all the checkpoints or we'll be disqualified. If you want to hang a bit, do. I'll be in the rig. When do we start? The shard. It's all on there.
lunch to ask that time. What now? We gotta do better next races or we'll be out of the final. Fuck! Let's hold up at the finish line a minute, just in case. You got it. You do this for the eddies? The wins? The glory? Why do you race? It's like you've got... laser focus. You don't like winning? Depends on what I stand to gain. And what I gotta put in. Yeah. The price can be pretty high. Did you say you lost your last driver? Can we not talk about it? Yeah, sure, sure. Need a lift to the shop? Yeah, sure. All right, let's go.
Bottom of Ebonica. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's maelstrom turf. You mean you found Grayson? You really got an in with Smasher. Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay.
sucker!
talk? I mean, no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Yep, I'm all set. Editors are working their magic RA. Have the marketing team stick a link onto that old list. Don't get a five-second... I already told them. They're also tagging a link on the Delamain. <sighs> Someone passed while we were shooting. Good, well, maybe. Is that a serious question? <sighs> <sighs> here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had Got no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this, a chance- Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No, this discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time, for the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? 
Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone Come would on, take Pete. it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Dumb all too... Easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes. Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy. Where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. My name is Arif Iqbal, and this is Let's go. WNS News. A dead city lightens up the news today. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suit. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that.
high demand from collectors has spurred on the continued looting. Officially, we have arrived. To make the net worth of Venetian sculptures and jewelry sold illegally on the black market would be equivalent to one third of the Padanian economy's GDP. Most stolen works eventually. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Need a hand? Of course, but in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Lovely thousand page rack. Right, that was quick. When Augustus came out on the porch, the blue pigs were eating around us. Not a very big I've always been fond of trains, and the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Sure thing. Nothing here.
Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. Not what you wanted to talk about? I mean, perhaps I did. But not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. I don't see a problem here. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Don't feel any impulse at all right now? Shame. I was hoping you did. I do. But I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Sit your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Hurry up and wait. You're acting spooked, as if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be cons- New. Scorpion. He tried to get- st I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe from- Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any.
Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kind of cold out here. Not true, but this is nice. Catch some shit eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library too? Of course, that's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Get her up to speed. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Hey, no coming in fine. Take out that coupler. Shoot up the damn coupler!
All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. <laughs>